Okay. Hey guys, okay, let's remove the starting soon. Um, hey guys, what is up? Uh, let me log in to chess.com. And um, okay, the plan is to do the puzzle rush and the five daily tactics. But I might warm up with a Baghaz game, maybe. I don't know. While no one's here, maybe I should do that. Baghaz is always funny. Ah, uh, too many notifications here. Okay, whatever. Um, you can see my face, right? Let's make it slightly bigger. Hey Karmar, hey! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see the chat until now. How are you doing, man? Okay, before the tactics, I'm gonna play one game, one backhouse game. Just to warm up. It's been a whole week, I think, without streaming. Right? You're fine, good, good to hear. Um, Okay, let's go. Um, okay, my teammate. Something. Hey, Bobby, what's up? Um, probably casting, not a good idea. It's tactics. Yeah, it's tactics. I'm warming up with a backhouse game. Um, So my teammate has a easier pairing, apparently. So I'm trying to play solid here. Um, yeah, trying is the first step to failure. Ugh. I don't like what I just did. Um, I'm actually in trouble here. Okay. Might be in trouble. Trade, trade, check. Sacrificing the queen? Okay, my <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> no, I cannot take, of course. Uh, I can take this bishop, though. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask. He doesn't lose the queen, although he's not going to lose it. Oh, ah, but let's check, yeah. I, if it's not check, I take on a three. Um, okay, my teammate is is crashing. I think he's winning, so we should be fine. Mm. We're not fine. Uh, it's not check winning one, so I'm gonna do it and and checkmate it now. Uh, three seconds ahead. Check mated. Three six up. And now it's all Yeah. Can't do anything. Mm. I need to go up.
your teammate is a girl, I don't know. Hey Rocking. Okay, then I should say Wow. Let me see that again. The bishop was protecting this square. Oh, I didn't realize that a, a knight would check me. me. Okay, let's go to the tactics. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Pass the rush. You can speak to her in Spanish. She's from Ecuador. Uh, yeah, I have this bias and I always speak English. Oh, you cannot see the board I like this. Oh, come on, chess. Can I do this? Na, 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 na. Okay, can you pull the layout up a bit? Um, I'm trying to do my best with chess.com. I think this. Never mind now, okay. You meant before, okay. <laughs> Uh, you gonna try to beat my 39? No, I'm not, Bobby. I'm gonna try to be close to 30, and that's enough. Um, especially when streaming. Okay. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Uh, okay, that's. What? Oh, I had the bishop. <laughs> Resign. <laughs> Resign. <coughs> okay. Um. <laughs> uh, queen or knight? Knight saves the knight, but not the bishop. Um, now I'm so scared to fail every everyone, each and every one. Um, I'm not cut off for this. Um, Uh, this is definitely my record. Take my time for the puzzles. How can I make this bigger? Like uh, that, 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 that. It's okay. Okay. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Check. Check. No. What about just bishop h6? Bishop h6, bishop c5, knight b4. Bishop h6, Mm 
I don't know if I'm in the mood to do tactics. Mm. Bishop h6, bishop c5, but um. bishop c5 is not the only move. Um, and that annoys me. Um, Bishop h6. It's the most logical anyway. Bishop h6, bishop c5. May rook f8. Followed by queen f4. But just queen takes this. Oh, yeah, queen takes this 6 right? Bishop h6, bishop c5, rook f8, bishop takes f8, queen f4, queen takes d6, queen takes f8, king h7. So bishop h6, bishop c5. And queen f4 immediately. Bishop h6, bishop c5, queen f4. Rook takes f2, maybe. Queen b8. Ah, queen f4 threatens queen b8 too. And if bishop takes f2, king h2, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess for the first move we don't have a lot of options anyway. Rook f8 doesn't seem working. So bishop h6, and if he doesn't go bishop c5, he has to go like rook e8, and also queen f4. So bishop h6, bishop c5, queen f4. Bishop takes f2, king h2, bishop g3. Um, hey, thanks for the follow, I guess. Mm. Uh, bishop h6, bishop c5, queen f4, bishop takes f2. If I go king h2, he might try bishop g3 check, queen takes g3. Queen takes g3, king takes g3, rook takes c2. No, because then rook f8. Yeah, then rook f8. Yeah, yeah. Bishop f2, bishop g3 doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try bishop a6. Mm -hmm. Bishop takes f2 immediately. That's interesting. Um, one second. I want to answer this message. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so king h2, there's queen g3 or bishop g3. Queen h king h1. King h1. It might transpose after bishop c5. Rook takes f2. Well, rook takes f2 and not this up. Rook takes f2. If rook takes f2, king takes f2. Queen e2 check. Check, check. King check, just king g1. I'm gonna piece up there. Okay, I can see how king h2 loses. I can see how king h king of one loses. So the alternative is rook takes f2 or king h1. King h1 seems risky. Mm. 
but look if it's still a threat. King h1, bishop c5, and after queen f4, the bishop already has access to g1, so, so king h2 is not an option after queen d1 check. So, yeah. Yeah, king h1, bishop c5. And if queen f4, queen d1 check. And I have to trade queens. I have to play queen f1. That's bad. So I guess I, I need to take the bishop and just be a piece up. Yep. Mm, let me see the chat. <laughs> no, I'm not angry. Mm, hey, Oxygen, what's up? I like bishop h5, bishop c5, queen f4, and if queen d1, king h2 should be winning. Yeah. Now, nah, bishop h6, yeah. Queen takes d6, and that's me also. Okay. Next. <coughs> mm -hmm. Bishop takes c2 is tempting. So tempting. It's really tempting. Bishop takes c2. The knight is a bit trapped too. So if I go like b6, I might win it later. Okay, bishop takes c2. Rook takes e8, rook takes e8, king takes c2. Oh, but I can attack the knight because then there's no. I keep the threat on the queen, bishop f5, if rook e8, rook e8. Hmm. Yeah, bishop f5. Yeah, this seems very simple. What am I missing? Bishop f5. One. You prefer knight f6, queen takes f6, rook f1. You prefer five, it's winning a piece. Unless. Uh, bishop f5, rook e8, rook e8. No. Seems very simple. <laughs> okay, let me see the chat. Um, we should be five the simplest, yeah. Hey, Lord Sakuho. <laughs> you thought I was dead. Mm -hmm. It's been a week. And queen a4 and take the knight. What? 
Cuartillo sin tejados. Hey, cuartillo. A cute idea that doesn't work. Rook e7. So when rook takes um, rook on e7, it's not a check. What? Good luck playing queen a4 with a pawn d4. Um, okay, have a good visit to the doctor, Cortillo. Let's go with the next. <coughs> okay, so white is sacrificing a piece there in order to promote the b pawn. Uh, but we're also close to promoting ourselves. Um, actually, the check on f4 might be really strong. Hmm. So, okay, uh, let's say we take the knight, then b6, of course, then knight e2, b7, knight f4, check. If king f3, g2, nah, seems like a draw. Um, what about the stop in the pawn? Or promoting first? The queen from b8 has no checks as long as our knight protects b5. So maybe just after takes and b6, just e3. And if b7, e2? b8 equals queen, e1 equals queen, we're winning because there are no checks. There's bishop c4 check, or bishop c2 check, but uh, I don't believe them. Hey, Okia, okay, yeah, thanks for the follow. Mm, so takes b6, e3. King f1? Hmm. So takes knight b6, e3, king f1, e2 check, and if king e1, g2. Yeah, that also wins, doesn't it? If bishop c4 check, king takes e4, king d2. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna take the knight. Um, because if I play e3 immediately, maybe just knight c4, and if e2, knight e5 check, and knight f3, I think I have to take the knight, and then e3. And. <laughs> I promote first and I don't see a way to stop it. Let's go there. Okay, that. I thought I would just take it. Ah, but then he's gonna have checks on b1. Or, or b5. So I have the, the option either to take the bishop or to take on d5 now. Taking d5 doesn't help. So, okay, let's go for the immediate. Knight takes bishop, b7, e2, b8, e1. And he has a check on b5 and a check on b1. B5. On b5, I play king c2 to be able to block with the knight back on c3. And if check on b1, I might go king c3 also. King c3, queen a1. Hmm. On the other hand, if I don't do that, how do I stop the pawn? I need to promote myself, so I need to take the bishop. 
and there's the symmetrical path control from D7 to there. No. One temple down, I need to take the bishop, it's the only chance. Let me see the chat. Um, Bishop f5 is just a 4. Okay, that was the previous one. Hey, Quartillo, e3. e3 right away, and you win a tempo. I think e3 didn't work because of knight c4. Do you contribute to Stockfish or Lila chess zero? No, I don't. Yeah. I guess that would be interesting. Pepe, can you talk quieter? <laughs> Am I not quiet enough? <laughs> okay, maybe take knight first and then e3, so he has no bishop c4. Yeah. He has queen c4 at the end. Oh no. Like <laughs> Pepe, take the bishop. Hey, greedy Guillermo. Take bishop with knight. When he tries to promote, you are faster and can mate faster. Lorsaku who contributes to chess.com. Yeah, he can check. That's what I was trying to calculate, but still I think I didn't have anything better than allowing checks being a piece up. It's not a bad deal. Okay, so I did uh, three. Yeah, have two left. Let's continue. Hmm. F7 is really tempting, but taking on B3 the alternative. What about f7 and if b2 then rook b3? Oh, then he takes on f7, what am I, what am I saying? Um, okay, so f7, if, if he goes b2 and I promote and he promotes, I should have checkmate. Right, let's see if I have check me there. Check, check and mate. Yeah, I have mate in three. Okay. So so f7. F7 root c2 check. <laughs> if king e1, there's b2. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. And what about f7, rook c2 check, king... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the, the coordinates the other way around. Uh, so, yeah, we're black. So, um, let's say c2, rook f7 check, king d8, and if uh, g7, I promote. Don't quite like it. I don't quite like it. F7 rook c2 again. C2 rook f7. <coughs> C2 rook f7 king b8. Because if he keeps checking, I hide on a6, so he has to go g7. And then I can go rook c8, and if he promotes, I promote. And queen g3 check, I have king a8. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Whose king is worst? Um. Yeah, I think that that should be the line because after c2 rook check king b8, 
G7, I promote. I'm still threatening checkmate, but he has to promote immediately, otherwise I have queen c4 check and take the rook and stuff like that. And if he checks with promotion, I play rook c8, which is winning a tempo on the queen and still threatening checkmate. And if, for example, rook f8, then I have a fork on a3 to win the rook. And if he checks first, instead of promoting, checks first on f8, I might just go king a7. Because if he promotes, I have checkmate. So I think that should be the line. Good. Let me see. Um, try this puzzle, Pepe. Uh, okay. Let me copy the link and I'll do that later. Let me open in a new tab. Thanks, Sakujo. Uh, opening. And uh, da, 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 okay, it loaded. I'll do that later, okay? Mm. Carmor, I'd bang you if you weren't a sub. Take on b3, easy. Mm, not so easy. <laughs> Everything wins. No, <laughs> he's gonna check you. So take on b3. When are they gonna fix this bug? You cannot bang moderator Sakufo unless you're the owner of the chance. <laughs> Hello, Fabiano Capablanca. What's up? 10 streams at the same time, it's just rookie numbers. What? Okay, and I think this is gonna be the last one now. Next tactic. <coughs> okay, so they are forking us, so rook takes rook is the obvious first idea. C4 is also an idea. C4, knight takes rook. On d8, I guess. But trading first on d1 and then c4. Aren't we just winning a piece? Rook takes rook. And rook takes. Because if king takes, I might even have. No, I don't. So rook takes rook and c4. Seems pretty strong. Seems winning a piece. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, let's say rook takes rook. Check. Rook takes rook. C4, 98. Um, we just take the queen. <laughs> yeah. This, this seems very easy. Hmm. This seems very easy. Take. And if he takes with the king, it's the same. I'm gonna do it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Strong thread. <laughs> wow, the rating of this puzzle is twenty-five fifty-seven. <laughs> I don't get it. Why? Um, I I thought <laughs> yes, Bobby. That's right. I thought this one this was one of those puzzles that haven't been played yet, so I get it but but it has no rating but twenty-five, wow. So in chess com riches ratings are low but puzzle ratings are super high. Um, I don't know if that's the general rule. Okay, I think I reached the maximum. Yes I did. So hey John John. What's up? 
You're in time for puzzles. Mm -hmm. I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to do one more on lead chess now. Um, actually, it's very, it's very early. We, we took too short to do these puzzles. Ggilag.com. Uno más. Okay, let's change the title. Title tactics on chess.org. And can I do this? Haha, yes. Perfect. Okay, so we're in check. We can take that piece. Why wouldn't we? Okay, there are three legal moves. What is wrong with any of them? Yeah, I like the three of them. Um, so our opponent has three pawns for the piece after after we take the piece. Uh, so it's going to be equal material, but we're threatening that checkmate on g7. Mm. Queen takes Queen takes bishop has a point and King takes bishop has a point too. How is he gonna defend against them? Checkmate. I'm, I'm I'm thinking g6, but maybe there's another option like f5. So if I take with the king, probably f5. Okay, let's take with the queen. Queen takes g2. If g6, knight f6. Followed by rook f1 and queen h3. Mm. If queen takes an f5. Uh, f5 is annoying. Maybe then rook g1. Oh yeah, sure. Queen takes g2 if f5, rook g1. And because we're hitting the rook on a8, he can't go rook f7. So he has to go g6. Um, still... Still not sure. Okay, the way I see it, queen takes g2 is the only logical move. Uh, because king takes exposes the king and also queen takes threatens the rook on e8. For what it's worth. It's so queen takes d2. Queen takes g2, f5. Mm. 
root g1 g6 Queen takes g2 f5 Knight takes g7 Queen takes g7 Queen h3 Queen no. takes g2 f5 Why? I'm only chess, I can draw a rose now, finally <laughs> Okay, because I take g6 is, is, is losing, it has to be this check, and we're eventually gonna go like queen g3, queen h4, or first this, and then queen h3. So f5. Well, this is a strange line sacrificing rook no so to a five mm -hmm. Have knight f6. I do have knight f6. I don't know what for, <laughs> but I do have it. Okay, um, change. <laughs> Can I take this? Um, I'll rook h4. Wait, wait, wait. Queen takes f5, knight f6 check. Uh, king f7, maybe king f7. I'm gonna suppose knight takes h7 is good, so king h8, rook h4. Is that too crazy? Is that too crazy? <laughs> I think he has to take with with G pong. And then what did I achieve? <laughs> Queen G6 would be funny, but it doesn't work. Ugh. Okay, I take the first move, has to be this one. So let's take it from there. Yeah, five, of course. Let's take it from here. So I was saying or thinking this check, and after this, queen g6 doesn't work. Hey, Tidargi, hey, thanks for the beats. Um, Or maybe I do nothing, maybe I do go rookie one here. Um,
There's this idea of root takes f5 too. I saw in a different line. Um, the problem is after bond takes, I don't think I have anything. It's funny, but I don't have anything. It's a funny line, but it doesn't work. Um, uh, the point was, if he takes with the rook and check, rook has to go back. I had knight of six check. But it doesn't work either. So, yeah. I'm not seeing strange stuff here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back with nine, to nine of six. Oh, sorry. Let me see the chat because yeah, only just uh, how about rook h four first, maybe. Please down but rip on how. How about rook g1? Yeah, rook g1, I already said, rook g1, there's g6, and I don't know how to continue. Pepe, we said 9f6, king h8, rook h4, what's wrong with that? Um, 9f6 check, king h8, rook h4. Um, he takes the knight um, with the g pawn. And it would be very funny if queen g6 work, works there, but I guess just queen f7. So. so I don't know. So maybe after knight f6 check, king h8, we take on h7. Okay, John John, are you going to calculate? Rook g1 and g6, queen takes g6. I didn't see that working. Is it working? I didn't believe it. Takes, takes, king h8. Rook h6, king, uh, queen h7. No, don't believe it. King h8, rook h6 check, queen h7 takes, takes, it's a piece for, for a pawn, hmm, might be, it might be, rook g1, g6, queen takes, pawn takes, rook takes, king h7, king h7 is enough. Yeah, no, king h7, yeah. Nope. Okay, John John said rook h4 first. Rook h4 is so slow. <laughs> um, I 
think. You should put a timer below the graph in the layout and start it with every puzzle. I want to see how long this takes. Um, hmm. Yeah, but then I would need to to remember. Um, maybe I should add some commands so that you can do it for me. Because we have the time command, so Maybe we can we can do something similar. You should do Crazy House puzzle stream sometimes. Well, this week is starting the Crazy House League, and I still don't have a pairing, but I'll probably be playing my match on Sunday. And there will be already there are already scheduled matches for Saturday. And Friday I think and okay not puzzles but my idea is to go over all games on the stream all games from the league they're not a lot I think <laughs> or at least the ones from my team I don't know. Um, I sure I can just time before every puzzle and just check when you finish yeah <laughs> you have that at least negative six looks too beautiful not to do. Yeah. Does that say your first move is right or wrong at this rank? I'm only for hundred ish. Does that say your first move is right or wrong at this rank? Uh not sure if I understand, but the first move I already did and it's right. I got it. You got it, John John? You have the answer. Knight f6 check. King f7. You have the answer against king f7. Knight f6 check. King h8. Knight f6 check. Ah, oh, rook g1, you say. No, the sacrifice of the queen is not good. Rook g1, g6. Queen takes g6. Pawn takes. Rook takes g6. King h7. Ugh. No good. Okay, but. And knight f6 check king h8. Knight takes h7. He's not forced to take, but if he takes. Mm, check. No. Queen g3. Nah. I don't believe it. We might not solve the puzzle, but if you suck your queen, they should give a step point. It would be nice to add that feature. <laughs> I think knight f6 deserves some style points too. Knight f6, king h8, and knight d5, something like that. Let's have a check. Sack queen, check, 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 and made somehow. Well, I was looking at an, a different queen sacrifice on g6, but it doesn't work. After checking h8, queen g6. The idea being if he takes the queen, rook h4 is mate. But of course, there's other good moves. And we're threatening mate with the queen, of course. But just rook takes f6, yeah. What if king moves to f7? Uh, I'm expecting knight takes h7 with the idea of knight g5 to be good. But maybe it's not because this is hanging, so. What does he play if you play rook h4? Okay, rook h4. And the idea of rook h4 is maybe this check? Maybe. Let's say he does the same g6. Oh, then knight f6 check. Wait, what? What? Rook g1, g6, knight f6 check? What about that? And if king h8, rook h4? And there's no g takes f6? Wait, wait, wait. That's a forced line. 
rook g1, pretty much forcing g6. Knight f6 check. How did I miss this? So king h8 is not good, but king of 7 or king g7. <laughs> Ah, if king g7 we might take on h7, hitting g6, and it's checkmate into if he takes the rook. So this looks this looks good. Ah, you suggested this line. And after king h8, knight h7. I thought you suggested the sacrifice. Of the queen, I mean. Hmm. And if king f7, we take on h7 too. And then rook g8. Oh, wait, I mean, if queen takes f4, queen takes g6, king e7. Queen g7, rook f7, so it's not that easy. But yeah, I think I'm gonna play this. It's been a long time in this battle. But can't black play rook a7 on rook g1? Um, I hope he couldn't. <laughs> uh, Now then we take on g7, and after queen takes g7 we just move the queen out and we win the queen. Okay, now I, I guess I need to go to f6. Oh, he took, nice, thanks. And we go to defend, only move. Yeah, rook a7, I think the problem was here, rook a7, the problem was takes, and we just move the queen. And, yeah. But I'm not sure about this, but I mean, he took, the machine made, made it easier for us, but I wasn't sure about all the other moves, like, this is probably very simple. Uh, this is not possible because of check and mate. But uh, da, 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 da. if he defends, yeah, it's not easy to defend. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, see you, Karmar. Have a good one. And this, we're hitting a rook. I was trying to calculate this and I wasn't sure. Not sure at all about this. So maybe this is not the move here. Maybe this is. Look at this line. Oh, there's a four. Wait. And the alternative is this. So maybe this is not winning. In my mind, I was calculating stuff like this. And how do we win here? See what the engine says. Knight takes it seven totally winning. Only move, okay. And queen takes f4. 
Queen B7. Queen B7 only move that wins too. Because this there's checkmate. And this obviously. Queen B7. Okay, next. King e5. <sighs> take, take. I'm thinking e5 because if he takes, I take the rook with the bishop, and if he takes my rook, I take the bishop. And uh, if e5. I think he has to take, and after takes, well, I'll be an exchange up after bishop takes. Exchange for a pawn, though. Rook c4. Yeah, rook c4, he takes the two rooks for the queen. No, I think e5. Five. five seems pretty strong. E5 queen d2, e5 queen d2. Good point. Oh wait, I take here. As it takes, I go root c4. Three immediately. Um, okay, we're a piece down. So I should be careful with these ideas. Taking a full rook is good. Bishop f6, g takes f6, exclamation. Now g takes f6 has the queen, right? <coughs> okay, if I trade first. The problem is after bishop f3 he just trades queens, I check, and maybe it's not a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, the bishop c5 check is going to be a problem after I take here, he has bishop c5 check. So I guess I do this without trading, and it seems like a full rook. What can black do? Taking on d4? 
maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess I just take a rook anyway. Okay, that was checked, so I have to take bishop c5. And then I take on c5, and then I take on e8, and I take a rook. Yeah. Has to be it. Yay! Two points. Okay, let's promote ideas. Hey Strider, thanks for the host. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, Rook H2 is very tempting. He's too far away from promoting and then And then still another tempo to check me. So let's start with this one. Uh, rook has to go up. And probably has to prevent c3, so probably rook a3 only move. It was odd day, no one was in the channel at all until the last 10 minutes. Yeah, that happens. Um, C3 first is a very interesting idea too. Because he can't go here, so if he pushes, then this is going to be even stronger. Much, much stronger. Hmm. Yeah, C3 is really strong. So C3, Knight B4. I might have... no, that doesn't work. I mean check and, the, and, and this, that's what I was calculating with the king here. Uh, if the knight moves I have c2 check would be one stuff. It's very crazy. I don't want to... I would prefer to have something clearer than that. <coughs> I'm off to work. Okay, have a good one. Thank you. See you later. Rook h2 and then check in. Wins rook. R. Yeah, the problem is white has moves to rook c3. <laughs> I think c3 is strong, but I need to calculate stuff like knight b4, knight e4. So rook h2, rook a3. Check. A very funny line would be check first. No, it's not funny because he can go here. Is it funny? Let's see three. It is funny. He wouldn't stop from all night before then. <laughs> and then this, and knight takes d3 and rook d2 check. And then I take the knight and he promotes. <laughs> no. <coughs> very tough. Tough, tough, tough. Is Rook H2 a bad start? No, it's one of the three candidate moves I have so far. <laughs> 
I just don't like rook a3 after that. Rook here, rook a3, and I don't know how to continue. No easy way to, to push my pawns from there. So that's why I want to start with c3. But I also want to put the king on d1. So in those lines with knight before, if he ever takes here, I have a fork. Like for example, if I go c3 immediately, knight b4, look h2, he just takes on d3, and I don't. Uh, I win the rook there, so he can't take. Okay, wait, wait, wait. c3, knight b4, rook h2, yeah. That's good. C3 seems the strongest of the three options. C3, now B4, Rook H2. C3 is very promising. Rook e2, he has to go to f1 because of c2. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. But after c3, he might go knight b4, I think. Because then if c2 check, he can take it. Knight e4, rook h2. Ah, you say rook h2 there. But then he takes here. And my point is, if I go check and take the knight, it's hard to to stop promotion. So I'm not sure if if he can't go to d1. And if he goes to f1, I wanted a funny line that went rook h2, king g1, c3, <laughs> and that was funny because if he takes c2 first, oh no, the knight is in time to stop. No, it wasn't working. Anyway, I think c3 is much stronger because after this I have this. So I'm gonna go with c3. Power. Yeah. Yay. Okay, let's show that line we were discussing. Yeah, check. At first I thought he had to go here but I wasn't sure about this line because c2 is not really possible here he just takes it so I cannot take the knight and if that's not possible and I try this he might just take here because after this check and this <laughs> I have a problem here I can try this maybe but if I go passive, I probably lose. I probably lose. And if I try this with this idea, just this or this, this, whatever. And I lose also. Mm. I'm going to be a root down. Or not. Oh yeah, it's a checkmate threat. I cannot. I cannot go like this. I need to sacrifice the rook and be a rook down. And lose anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, rookie to hip up. He can probably go to d1. Okay, next. Here, root back to d1. Artificial, right? 
artificial I don't see that working one second uh, confirm the budget to balance again in Rivera okay I think sacrificing the queen here is going too too far, but maybe I just move the queen. Let's say something like this. Nine moves and take me six. It's three pieces for the queen. Three? Why do you say three? Um, Okay, it's not three pieces for the queen. Now, where is this knight going? Mm. Take, 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 and then root d1, and then he saves the checkmate somehow. And then I resign. <laughs> so two pieces and a rook, two pieces and a rook. No, it's not two pieces and a rook. Okay. If any, after rook takes, I need to take the rook. But then he takes my pawn c6. It's rook and knight for queen and pawn. That's a bad deal. So I don't think I can take on c6. And what to do? After the nine moves, after the nine moves, what will I have? Nine G five, I will have nine G five. So let's get out of the ping but attacking something, in this case h7 okay um, now the knight moves, oh, then I can move here yeah, that's a problem so let's do it here, queen b1 now the knight moves without attacking our queen let's say here or here, more defensive and we go here then he stops our threat then we take here we can't we can't Maybe cover queen with bishop. Bishop d3, interesting. What about d takes c6? Um, we've already discarded that. <coughs> Unless you see any idea in this line.
what's in there but I don't see how moving the queen would lead to a tactic <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I'm trying to to create something <laughs> um, if I don't move the queen and I cannot take here Yeah, but is bishop d3 such a big deal? Okay, bishop, a, bishop d3, knight b4. Do we sacrifice? I guess we do. And... I guess he just takes it. There's nothing wrong with taking it. He sits. Knight g5, king g6, queen g4, f5, queen g3. And there's a four con c2 also. King f6. King f6 there, probably. The king runs. There's a fourth threat on c2. I don't know. I don't believe bishop takes h7. Of course we do. <laughs> it has to be the solution. Queen b1, knight e7, g5. Followed by d takes e6. I said that. Greedy Guillermo, I already said that, but we cannot take on e6, we hang the knight on g5. Um, so yeah, queen b1, knight e7, knight g5, and let's say g6, for example, or knight g6. We can't take here because the knight will be hanging on g5. So... Yeah, queen b1 is the one I like the most so far. But... I don't believe it. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Even if he takes d5, you still take in h7. I don't believe in taking on h7. So it's probably the solution. <laughs> but I don't believe it. If I could have something stronger with my queen. Oh, this is tough. Rook b1. Mm. I don't believe that makes any threat. Queen has many squares to go to. But he can also just move the knight. I like queen b1, queen b1, knight e7, knight g5. 
g6, just h4, and if g6, maybe with sack on f7. It's similar to Greek gift after bishop d3. It is the Greek gift, but I don't... Okay, let's calculate it again. Let's calculate it again. Bishop takes h7, takes knight d5 check, what else? King g6. Queen g4, what else? <laughs> f5. Queen g3, what else? Uh, king f6. The king escaping, we don't have material to... to ah, uh, yes, we have rook takes e6. Rook takes e6 is checkmate, I missed. I missed that, so f5 is not working. Wait, wait, wait. Takes he's not forced to take it, but let's say he takes it. Ninety five king queen g four check. I miss rook takes e six. So so he has to go like king f six, and then ninety four check wins the queen. Hmm. So bishop d three, ninety seven bishop h seven. King f8 Before it's hanging Bishop h7, king h7, queen d3 check Rook takes e6 instead of queen g3 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah um, bishop d3, 97, 95. Okay, yeah, bishop d3 seems problematic for black. Bishop d3, let's try something different. There's not a lot of options 97 or 95 or maybe 4 or maybe 8. This is not possible, this is not possible. Seven takes. Wait, what if he takes and after the check he goes back to g8? How do we win? Queen h5, knight g6. Queen h7, king, king f8. Pawn takes e6. Takes e6 again, hands the knight on g5. Hmm. I don't see it, guys. <laughs> I'm starting to be tired. I think I'm gonna finish the stream here after this puzzle, and I'm gonna play bishop b3. Okay, g6. Queen g6. Why me? Why me? Why so easy? Okay, let's let's see this line. How is this winning? Let's see if the engine says bishop takes h7 first. 95, queen e2, bishop takes h7 wins. And king h8, best move. But what after this and this? And this. Maybe just this. Queen h5, knight g6, d takes e6. The knight is protected, I'm so blind. Uh, I was watching the line here and I said d takes e6 is not possible. <laughs> but of course we take first. Oh yeah. something wrong. Queen h5, 
King e7 first and then oh e7. Ouch. So this is only move now. Because this is checkmate. So this no, it just just taking and saving the checkmate. <laughs> just defending against this. Or maybe this first. Let's see what the enemy thinks. Queen G8 first. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, thanks. I'm gonna finish. Let me see one second if I can. Uh, raid someone. Thanks, quickly. Yanjing is so hungry. <laughs> he wants to eat. And let's go there. Thank you.